Hello, welcome to Answers TV. My name is Jack Duxbury. Yes, he is Danish <laughs> Pete. Hello, this is Tom from UA. And Tom. also, and also in the room we've got Oz and we've got Pedro as well. Mm. Yeah. Um, hey man, today we are showing off UA gear and how it makes it super easy to record guitar. Yeah. Little preface to this is that you may not know Pete does things other than Amsterdam's, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. You know, I've worked in uh, the Tesco. Yeah, <laughs> stack shows. And, you know, I have to do something, not just you know. And I've got I've got this car detailing uh, business as well. I go on and, uh, and foam cars up, and you know. No, but no. as you can see, Sorry, he's very <laughs> he's reluctant to talk about those things. But I've we us and I know that you do a lot of remote recording, right? Yeah, I do. I mean, I, and it's uh, you know I used to do lots of it but go to studios you know but then it's just become so much easier to do it from home because all of these things like the apollo and and stuff was getting better and better and better and better all the plugins are getting better and better and better and better easy and easier to use and so now actually the, the 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 producers and stuff just just go but i don't i trust you so i've built up a trust relationship with people that does stuff like uh, america's got talent britain's got talent uh x facts so all that stuff you know i've got a um, and they'll just they'll, they know how what I do and how I work and what I'll send them and they know what they get you know so it becomes like this this relationship where you they trust me and they'll go we need this for tomorrow sometimes it is like as I said you're like can we have this uh, tomorrow and yeah. like, it's nine o'clock in the evening and you just go okay fine you know um, but because of, it sounds great when you do it and it's easy to do then I'll just go yeah it's cool man I'll, I'll do something for you um, actually. Before you do, please like and subscribe. You know, we have to remember to say these things because you might win a, a clon up there. And also, with inflation, that is crazy. Inflation, that's right going to be now. 25 yeah. grand. That. Yeah, it is. So, we're putting this video on the main channel, on the guitar channel, because it's guitar orientated. But also remember, we have a keyboard channel where, where I think Jack and uh, Tom will where do Where dreams some more go stuff. to die. But <laughs> on. But Pete is got. You've got a set recipe that you use. Yeah, uh, that you'll go to. Tom yeah. is an amazing producer yeah. and UA head honcho. Yeah. And we're, right, so right. you normally do it in Logic, but we're going to apply your recipe, but in Luna. Yeah. And do that right now. So the reason why I sort of. Oh, are you? Are you? Would you want to go to something else? Yeah. Well, no, it's you just like, let's do it. Like, tell Tom what your recipe okay. is. Because it sounds so, whenever we come, it sounds so good. And you're like, it's yeah, just yeah. this. Okay. But you use this, right? So you? let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, yeah. So, well, in the studio uh, here, both upstairs and downstairs, we use the, the polos. We use X8s uh, right. and, and 8Ps. Um, we might get a little nice sweep of our setup right now so you can kind of see how we use it. Um, you know, uh, at home, I've got the X4. So if I do sessions at home, I'll, you know, I, I, I've got the little presets in, in my um, uh, what is console. It? Console, yeah. console, yeah, console, console, console. Yeah, I use yeah. console. I've got presets, one at home, DP home, and then I got one, uh, US Studio. And I can take the, the stuff back and forth. I've got that preset on a couple of laptops, so I can just plug it in. And then, you know, I use Logic uh, because we use it here a lot. So I do want to use Luna because I do think it sounds better. Bless you. you. Know, is that, is that, and I don't, what is that? Why does some software sound better than other software? Is that just a... Is that a psychosomatic thing? Or? Uh, I mean, that, uh, you, let's start by saying you can make a record in all of them, right? <laughs> let's be fair. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, so we can definitely any... do the job in all of yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, you know, I think we all use different ones. You in the studio too. We're all sort of like mix and matching. Yeah. But with Luna, there are some things under the hood where we've sort of, I would say, changed the game slightly. You know, you don't have to worry about sample rate as one thing. You yeah. Know, like in most bits of software, you have to set what you work in. Yeah. Luna's sort of agnostic. You can throw stuff to it, and so yeah. part of the sound under the hood is that we're handling all of that with really good quality UA algorithms. The same with like the warping, we've done some of our own custom algorithms and then you've got Neve summing, API console built in and all that sort of and analog free. goodness. If you buy one of these, it's free, right? Yes, it comes free well, with it. Well, no, well, so Luna is free, the DAW, but then to like yeah, add the, the Neve summing yeah. and the, the yeah, API yeah, stuff, but, you can but, expand you know, that. But there yeah. are deals and that's one of the reasons, you know, there are times you get, if you buy this now, you get, you know, you can, you'll get this bundle of whatever with it. So, but there was other, uh, interfaces as well, right? Yeah, we have a massive we, range. Yeah, the, the starters, so you don't have to spend, you know, two grand or three grand or something. You can, you can, there's the range is much cheaper. I want to know seeper. what your secret sauce is, because yeah. we had anyway, listened there, so yeah. let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's stop talking about 
What do you... <laughs> so, and, and then maybe Tom can explain when Pete says something, what's happening with yeah. the gear. So what do you think of when you record in there for your America's Got Talent? So, so normally, I, you know, I've got, uh, you know, my go-to acoustic guitar recordings are Martin. So I'll, I'll have, I've got a D18, I've got this D, uh, OM28. Uh, I've got a couple of other ones, but these just always work for me when recorded. I want to make it as simple as possible um, and, and easy, as easy as possible for me to do something. Um, so I use a, a plugin called the V76. Um, which I put onto the uh, Unison input, and let's it's just it. and, and let's do that because that's all I basically use, <laughs> and it, and it's so simple because you have to remember I will you know if I do stuff for for these guys I'll send it off to them they'll add it into the mix and they'll mix the whole thing up but let's let's try yeah um, and see what that sounds like but so, I think we should record a little thing shouldn't we yeah yeah so I'll tell you what we've got. It, right now, we do oh, yes. a lot of stuff in mono, right? Yeah. So we've just got these new yes. microphones, the, ZRS, the sort of pencil microphone or classic sort of pencil mic called the SP1. They actually come as a stereo pair, so you get two with a stereo bar, but we'll, we'll move to stereo in a bit, I think. Yeah, but um, guitar players don't need stereo. You don't need what we to. Do, what I do normally, I'll just record two of the same thing, one on each out. side. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so the doubling tricks to get yeah. a bit of width and stuff, which yeah. we all do production-wise, or layering. Everyone likes the wider Sonics, yeah. And uh, so the SP1 is the little small diaphragm condenser. So for this, we'll just stick it towards the sort of 12th fret area on your Martin. Yeah. If we then just like get into record here, you've got to click there, Pete, as well. So we, so just before I start playing, I'm just going to ke keep it quite simple and then lay it up. Can we hear the, the first, how it sounds just without the plug-in on? Is that possible? Yeah, yeah. So we'll just, just get when some we record, I'm just going to... We're all going to chime in here. What Pete's yeah, talking yeah. about the plug-in, and if you're used to a DAW, you might put that on in the DAW. The magic with the UA stuff, as I understand it, Tommy, is that the when he says plug-in, we're almost put. Imagine it's not in here; it's in this box. Yeah. And it's on the channel, much like it would be with a bit of hardware gear. That's it. What makes it so quick and easy is you just drop on the sound you, you want. Yeah. So like, we'll go flat, but then we want to chuck in a V76 yeah. or a Neve. And yeah. I, I was saying earlier about the whole the Mayer thing, because obviously it comes up a lot on the channel, but you know, a lot of the <laughs> early records would have been done with Neve preamps. I know for sort of like battle studies, they had a Helios console lying around, which we have a version of in here. And then like, I know recently they've just bought an API console, which we also have API stuff in here. So you yeah. effectively could kind of go, oh, which era album do I fancy doing? And we <laughs> could just, you can, yeah, and you could just slap on like a, a, a Neve pre or an API pre, we yeah. could run it to two inch tape. All of that stuff's running real time on the Apollo. And yeah. you don't actually have to really be much of an engineer to, to use it, whistled. right? You can, yeah, exactly. This is how you kind of bang out all of the work you're doing with, with it. So basically this is the, I'll just put this into record, we've got click there, Pete, as well. And then um, you should have that in headphones. So normally I would do that if, let's say that's just a, an intro or chorus or whatever, I would do that stuff and I would just cut it and then loop it. Yeah. Uh, just, let's do it for simplicity to say, actually, when I do the um, sessions, I will as much as I can do a one take through the whole thing. Because I feel like when you do one takes, it, g it gives it a bit more of an organic way. You know, you probably agree with me when you record stuff. The copy paste thing for me, it loses a little bit of, you know, we're doing it here now, but just to make it simpler and make it understandable. But because I will play, you know, then the, the second time around, I might do a little bit of a different thing and it just it just gives it a different vibe. Um, I'll tell you what we so can do let's though. Let's a, try a different preamp, do the same thing just so we can show. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Really so I'll, play, I'll play the same thing. So basically, up in this unison slot up here, we go with, um, let's say you use the V76, which yeah. is an old German mic pre. Oh, yes. So let's just yeah, get old. a bit of. <laughs> But it's like a really fat tube thing. It just it, sounds it's great. It's just, uh, honestly, I I don't know how when I discovered this. I was looking, you know, I like to go on and look at the videos Universal Audio do to, you know, what could we do a tone, how do we call a acoustic guitar, how do we do this stuff, just tips and tricks. And I, what, somebody put this on in a YouTube video, and I was like, what? I have to try that. And literally, it's just become my go-to. It's one of my instantly. favorite mic amps. You know, yeah. on all the Undertones band yes. shout stuff, that I was using these on a... Uh, a lot of the drums on Ash's drums, yeah. Tom Toms, they're it's so so fat sounding. The, the difference and a, a is a very simple concept as well, which as a dweeb uh, looking for simplicity, <laughs> is yeah. that when Pete's recording, that's going to tape. 
This is not a posthumous process. One of the things without this gear, you yeah. have to record dry and then put stuff on after. Yeah. When you're making these decisions and when Tom's talking about the Unison technology, it's just like having a rack of hardware or your yeah. pedal board and then you're recording it as yeah. such. Yeah. And it's as simple as hitting with or without recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you put it in the Unison slot, it will be committed in the recording. Yeah. So you just kind of, every time you stack up, Less it just starts to sound you're better. Not, it, yeah, you're yeah, making yeah. decisions, you're moving forward just like you were back in the old school. Yeah, exactly. And and you have to commit to it, you know, which which makes you which makes me going, I need to get this right. <laughs> yeah. Because otherwise I'm faffing about with putting stuff on afterwards and all that and then it, it never sounds the same anyway. It never sounds as good as when you get a good sound in, you know. Well, it's cuz you're playing through it as well. So you're feeling you're sort of feeling yeah. like leaning against that. Yeah. Like, it's like, uh, said to me as well always record with your pedals on and like your effects like for guitar players it's part yeah. of the sound it's, it's a part, part of, of the feel. It's a you even if it's yeah. a bit noisy it's just you know it, it nice what do you mean I mean, you have to get used to the click as well. That's another thing, isn't it? When you just, yeah. you know, that's a, that's a science in itself. And we have to like, it was funny when we did that session with, uh, you know, Andertones and you get a son to, and the way he just oh. lies on top of the, it's beautiful. It's not, it's not like, mm -mm -mm, it's like, he's got this sort of thing and it's just around it. It's all, you know, and you know what I mean? It's like weaving. It's like weaving a blanket. What I loved is we did a few run as well. When, when we did the take, yeah. he'd saved that little intro. He he held something back. Yeah, I mean he what held something back, and then he just yeah, yeah. kind of blew my socks off. I was like, oh, yeah. Christ. and it's great it's just, video. Yeah, it's good. It's good. What, go and watch that stuff there as well. Oh yeah, for right. sure. He's a he's a monster. He's a he? master of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Sensei. So let's let just very quickly. Let's try say then go into like a Helios, which is something that you yeah. get with something we call the Heritage Edition Apollos. Yeah. Um, this is like Olympic Studios in the 70s, yes, I love late this as 60s, well. Stairway 70s. to Heaven. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Jimi Hendrix, all that sort of stuff. So we get like a quite a woody tone out of this, but we also have EQ. <laughs> <laughs> love it. It's the only way, isn't it? Put a bit of top end on. And on electric what, this was guitars, the, is the one, right? This is great, this mm. one. I, I, I used that before on my acoustic guitars, and then I you know, got, went to the, to the V76, because it just got this other worldly loveliness. Anyway, let's try it. Give that a little strum for a second. It's a bit more compressed as well, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I love that plugin. You can cut some mids out. It's so good. Good. Like the real deal would cost crazy money. But that's the Just problem, saying. isn't it? You know, you can't afford all of this stuff. If, if, and swap if it, it out. Wants, we so. wouldn't move this quick. Yeah, and, we've, it, and yeah. we sort of buy all the like vintage ones. We have them racked up, restored, then we emulate them. So we have like all the way you have all this collection of gear. Yeah. We have the same thing in UA, and then yeah. we model it and put it in the interface so you can just choose to record with it or not. But you'll have so to do your fast. little desk and all of that stuff, and it will just take ages. And then you have to go over and tweak all the knobbies like that. The young people then, like us, they can't wait for that. Then you've got a thing where you go, and then I get the spray out and give it a bit of, you know, the SL4000 desk, and you get into the one, and it's like, oh, God's sake, you have to take the whole thing out and clean it. Anyway, let's yeah. try this. Let's try this one real quick. Go on. Nice. Yeah. Tell us what you've been up to. Well, I just kind of put them on different versions, which is what yeah. you would normally see as playlists and other software. Yeah. So I've just labelled them up. So we've got the flat, then we've got the V76, then we've got the Helios. So they're more or yeah. less, more or less the same volume. I think maybe I'll just drop quickly. So they're, they're more, you know, more or less the same. So that's the flat one. Yeah. That's the V76, which is so round, right? Mm. And the Helios. It's sort of tighter and got that more bright type of sound to it. Yeah. Very different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's great. Right. Yeah, and then again, again, if you are listening to this through your phone, please put your headphones on just to make sure that you just get that experience of it. You know? mm. Yeah, Cause, thanks. Because, uh, yeah. And that's I mean, obviously, I EQ'd that, so I cut a bit of low end out of the Helios as well. Yeah. Which you might want to do as we layer stuff, as we add parts, but like for yeah. the main, if you're playing that, 
I'll play the same first. thing again. I'll go V76 for the one. V76. And that's the one so, you use on the America's. Yeah, yeah, got, and that's all, your go-to, all, of, right? all of whoever's got talent, that's that's the one I always go to because yeah. it's just set up, uh, you know. Everybody's got talent, the whole world's got talent. Yeah. But if you so you can I've did two takes now. What does it sound like if you put two of those takes I've done but side by side and pan it? Can you do that? Well, I can do that, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's easier than me recording it again. See, this yeah, is great, yeah. to think, work smart, not hard. You know. <laughs> oh, you Sage make me work advice harder. I was going to say, do you want to play it? Work play smarter, not chunk. harder. So these this are the is two. the V76 left. And that's the Helios right. I like so, the pick scrapes at different times. So, that's cool. But that's, that's the thing, yeah. isn't it? It's, it's only. It's those little imperfections that, that does it, you know. So, so if you want to add, some so stuff. you just want to add an overdub, you know. I don't know what they ask for. I'll just give. I always give them like, you know. I'll do like a, like a ring, for instance, like that. You know. Oh yeah. I call them footballs. Going, going. Just cut the football. And uh, let's just do like a uh, like one strum on it, like that. Yeah, man. And we'll so put that brings some reverb on it. Yeah, let's do. Let's also do, um, on this one, let's do like uh, maybe a Neve preamp, because we can just switch it up, give yeah, it a bit of Sorry, Why not? Continue, continue mirror. Oh, there you go, look at that. Oh. So even even nice. that I would do I would do the whole take through even though it's so annoying just to sit and go that you know <laughs> because what it what is none of those none of those strums will ever be the same and I'm I, in this I use different picks as well that's a whole different you know you can Ooh. go you can go and talk about picks Gets I would use softer picks I would use a different uh, material of picks you know this one you know is just a, a one mil thing. thing yeah but there's so much to, to say about picks. And the way you attack the whole thing when you record guitar, you know, it's, it's the magic, you know, where you can. Anyway, let's so let's do the other side. So we pan it out, just because we can. All right, rings left, rings right. Yeah, you call them rings. Panel around. I call them balls. <laughs> Hanging softly. <laughs> That's nice it. Yeah, I mean, so you can see the waveforms are kind of different, and I like the. A lot of people go, I don't want that. I don't want that. But actually, it 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 makes it in a, in a world where a lot of it is all so perfect. All and programmed. And it's, pro and and it's programmed. The yeah. bass is not real. Any nothing is real. The drums are not real. Everything in a world where they, where there's lots like that to have those little squeaks and and things and th things that are not like perfect makes a huge difference in the end of it. 100%, yeah. yeah. Um, and what I love is also, like, it's so fast the way, this is how you work, just chucking the preamp on, getting the sound. We've been able to, like, do a V76 and a Helios, then a Neve for the ring out chords, the, like, balls. We've just chosen tones without really thinking about it. We're not engineering, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. nerdy. We're just throwing it, it, stuff not, on and it's, it's super not, fast. Not nerd so. at all. Let me add another one. I'm in the same sort of area here. Yeah. What kind of, uh, maybe we'll go back to the V76 for this I'm just, one. So we'll call this like. Um, I'm just gonna do that, you know. I, strummy. I, or yeah, like, like that. a like a little sort of extra kind of. Uh, what what I was doing. Uh, what Beautiful I doing? overtones. Where you were doing those on that guitar. Oof. 
I'll just do that kind of thing on top of it. Yeah, from the top. Yeah. I mean, you can say that might be enough for that bit, just to have that a little bit sort of running in or coming in every time, a second bit of the chorus or whatever, you know. Um, mm. You don't necessarily need to dub it. I would dub it to send to them, going. so in case Do they it. have it. Do okay, it. let's just dub it. D2. And this is, I've, this is not me, this, I'm just coming up with this on the spot, right? I've got no idea what, it, what, it's, what, it, what I'm doing. I'll just, just come up with it on the spot. just want to double track it. You sound great. Yeah. Huh? I don't have the headphones on, and one thing that I'm sure you've noticed out there well, maybe you're hearing it all together, but each one of your parts sounds beautiful in isolation as well. Oh, good point. Yeah, like, Thank you. And they're, like there, I could, I, I'm listening to it without the headphones. I'm like, oh, that's beautiful. That, that could have been the beginning. And um, man, great playing. Thank you. Yeah, nice job, Pete. <laughs> yeah, let's try it again. Thank all you. Right, here you go. I don't ever get to be in the videos, right, with Pete, and I do a bit of production away from here. Oh, you tell, you say you do a bit, and man. One, you're, so one you're of the king. things, and this sounds perfect for it, yeah. which is I'm thinking, if I had my producer hat on, do I'd it. be like, let's use a Nashville strung guitar, which we won't talk about that, it's one of these. No, you can explain what Nashville strung is, because uh, you know. if you took the 12 string set on a 12 string acoustic guitar yeah. and took like the top six, because the, the normal ones are just a normal. Yeah, they're six. the same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, and they, as you hear, if you strum a, yeah. a, a G or. Right, it's magic, okay? And you, you'll recognize that sound from Taylor Swift records back to the Eagles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been around forever, yeah. and I use it a lot, yeah. almost like a shaker. And what's great is yeah. there, we haven't got that da 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 rhythm. No, da 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 da. Da da da, like a mama, shaker. Mama. And sometimes, yeah. uh, especially with stereo, left and right, I just yeah. think this will sound really nice. Uh, you, and I, and I, uh, I have to admit, it's not a thing I've done because I just haven't got to it. I've, I use a capo and I, I just, you know, I'll put it up in the 12th yeah. fret and maybe I've got a uh, one with like a cutaway and I can yeah. do it. But this, I'm going to do this in the future. It allows you to keep the same fingerings if you, if you can't think about capo. Tuning, but a great Nothing thing, like if, if you've got an old guitar knocking about an acoustic, or maybe one that's got a crack in it, it's great to turn into yeah, yeah. Nashville. Yeah, I great mean, studio you can, tour. Or yeah. you can, you know, you can buy a guitar at Anderson's. You know, you can buy an East yeah. Coast for ninety nine quid and restring that. Yeah, you know? we're going to try to record in stereo now. It's not something I would do normally. If I do record two microphones, I might have one here and I'll have one up here, kind of thing. Get different tones. Yeah, yeah just yeah. To have the, or you know, get the one over your ear. The one that actually hear records That's a good one your, for acoustic guitar, yeah. Yeah, because that's the... It's how you're hearing the guitar. It's how you're hearing the guitar, basically, you know, so... Um, you can do some good stuff. You can get one down here where there's a huge block of wood in an acoustic guitar, yeah. normally the bridge pin. That can be quite bodyful if you want to blend yeah. that with something like the 12th fret or the over the shoulder with the 12. That's when but, I would say, if you're, if you're recording that, it's no offence to this guitar, because it's a more affordable guitar. You, you want all those frequencies and harmonies and, and the, that headspace and uh, more expensive guitar can give you if you're recording all of these places, because this might be a little bit, you know, it's laminate wood and... Uh, you know what I mean, though? Yeah. Anyway, come on, let's go. Uh, this is just, I'm going to play the same chords just to demonstrate that actually I can play the same chords and it's going to sound completely different. How it's going to sound, sound fantastic. Right? Hey, wait, you do and you whatever. want me to like... I'm not going to tell you how to play a guitar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I you just wanted you to it. touch my guitar because now it's worth more. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. It's eBay in it later, yeah, straight it. away. <laughs> You're just licking, like, licking it. Come on, let's do it, let's do it, let's please. Do it. Yeah.
sounds so good. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like in the uh, in the room. So because it because it's quite a bright sounding guitar as well, yeah. we're getting automatically panned a bit in the image because that yeah. mic's picking up more because it's not resonating. I'm the so excited to have it. I tell you what, this is this. I'm gonna do this, man. You've uh, you've changed. You've this is. Yeah. Let's tell you what, oh, let's hear right. that. You're going to hear an all Americans got talent now from now on. It's like, what is this? <laughs> oh, yeah. They love that. So yeah. here's the Nashville and Solo. It's like it's floating around, isn't it? Yeah, let's just put it down a bit in the, in the track. Sounds so nice, right? Yeah, and uh, you know you need to mix it now. And, Are you know, we like making a record? <laughs> Are we gonna make a record? <laughs> like, I mean, it's a song right there, isn't it? You know. And you, um, I have word on the street is you play electric ones and you do a bit of bass. Yeah. Are we gonna do that? Should we just cut that in? Let's do it. Do you want to do that? Let's just I'll freaking just, do that. Let's do it. Let's um, grab a bass, Pete. Yeah, we'll grab a bass. As a now, yeah. one of my favorite plugins, Tommy, is, and I don't know if you use it, is the flip top. B15 B15M, B15 yeah, yeah, I used that and the classic, Ampeg Classic. Yeah, yeah, so the, the Apollo comes with the SVT Classic, which yeah. is like a classic bass amp anyway. With and the again, really in the interest of simplicity, tone. like Pete's saying, don't think of this, oh, what's that, a plug-in? I see it, you're going to plug in the front here into the DI, Straight in there. and it's like having the amp before, like, imagine the amp is here, Yeah. and that will be recorded into whatever you use, and that's yeah. simple to me, instead of having to... Do it after the fact. Yeah, and, and the thing is that we, when you, you plug the bass in and you go, you, you play something and you tweak the amp like you would do a normal amp, a guitar amp yeah. or whatever, and when you think it sounds good, then you record it. And no freaking latency, because it's doing the processing right up front here, yeah. instead of going into the computer and yeah. doing it. You may have found that on inbuilt plugins with Logic. A lot of people find you just don't get that snappiness. It's like, almost like having the gear before the computer. 100%, yeah, so like, this is the flat DI way. Well, hey, Sorry, that's a bit level. Of, so one of the loud ones. So like, if we just have the flat, the flat DI, yeah. but then we're able to turn on the bass amp. And the presets are so good. And event, as soon as you change like what socket you're plugging into on the front of the amp, which you can do in software, that's changing the impedance there. I'm super nerd. But then we just pick like which amp do we like the sound of. You've got different output stages, <laughs> different input stages. So if you just play yeah. for a bit, Pete, we'll just get some sound going. That's quite nice because it's sort of got a bit, bit of bite in the top end with the different sort of like a fatter, older type of sound, right? It's really round. Let me just turn it off for a sec. So you made legit. that decision, you're not going to have to worry about it later, you're done. <laughs> let's go there. Let's, let's, let's try it, man. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. I've got a pick on my hands as well. Weird, isn't it? That bass brings the groove, doesn't it? All the time. Yeah, but it's a, it's a... Anyway, I do no, love playing the bass as well. If, if and actually, like I do the bass as well. In, I love, when you've got that much time in, I don't need to bother about drums. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not <laughs> missing the drums. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, nice. You know, you, what? once you do it more and more and more, you know, you, ca you get it and you right. eventually... And you guitar, it, yeah. I'm a bit of a guitar nerd in my downtime as well, right? And you've been killing it with the new amp pedals. Thanks, yeah, yeah, UFX, yeah, yeah. Right? Now, in my brain, 
these, because um, you know, some people may have said, oh, they don't have headphone outs or wh what not. Well, you can it, still do headphones. You can, I mean, yeah, yeah that with a Y cable, you can have I mean, headphones. that's not the them, only thing. The reality is, you know, we have the Vault interfaces, yeah. we have Apollos. Most people are either yeah. playing into an amp and actually playing guitar Just at home, right? Me up. Load you up. Okay, or, uh, so we've got all these. Now, in the studio, one, you're monitoring, aren't you? That's the thing, and you have headphones, you have monitors and stuff, but an interface like that. So you've been digging these, right? Everyone's been watching the videos. Think about that. If you buy one of these interfaces, you've got that technology in here. Yeah. So can we do that? And we, you've even got some different models that you can't buy it in the pedals, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, but, I mean, obviously, the, the Woodrow pedal you've got there in the arm is uh, more or less like the Fender Tweed Deluxe plugin yeah, yeah. that we have. Yeah. We've obviously just done a bass arm, which we don't have a pedal for, but you no. get that in the Apollo. So if you're a bass player, I'm basically trying to, to coax that. Pete to do a little bit of an electronic yeah, overdub. Yeah. So let's do that. do that. Just before you saw me just reach for this, I just like I've got this. Uh, I've got the Volt Two Seventy Six at home, and how? I, so when I record Instagram stuff, um, some of the times I, I I don't use it. But if you want a great sound, all you can do is take the uh, USB out. If you use the little uh, camera adapter, connection camera connection tip, tip um, connector, you put it into your Lightning port in your iPhone. And then you can run this straight in and use this as an interface into your phone. And your phone is a camera. You're, you record either, you know, I'll put a, let's say I just I plug straight in here, use one of the amps, or, you know, I can plug my, I can so plug my pedal. So that's how you get the, the yeah. dope audio on Instagram? Yeah, so I can put my... Danish I can, Pete presets. I can, yeah, Danish Pete presets, that's right. <laughs> I'll take straight out here into here and you'll get, you know, you'll get the guitar from there, stereo or whatever, two amps. Or you can put a microphone in front of that, stick it in here, and then I can put a lapel in so you can hear what I'm saying at the same time. And that's this is super affordable as well. These yeah, things yeah. are not expensive yeah, if you at all. Don't and want to go for the Apollo yeah. and the Volt range is there yeah. as well. And and you can power it. You don't need to power it up. You can power it via your computer. I would suggest you use the power supply for the for the phone because it'll drag your phone out or your iPad. But and then you just click these little presets, these little vintage, and you, you know, and it just sounds great. And that's if you want great Thanks, audio dude. on your Instagram videos. Let's get one of those, the, man. Yeah, and that's really what they were. We made these vaults yeah. for people who just wanted like really simple interface. Yeah, or you can, or you can use yeah. it on your laptop. You know, you can use it with your garage band or whatever. But yeah, it's still yeah, totally. super affordable. Yeah, they come with like Ableton yeah. and a bunch of stuff. Exactly, Ableton. Yeah. Apollo is the sort of like studio king in yeah. that sense, where you get your whole vibe, and we can do the virtual guitar amps up in the interface. Yeah. So you get where we've got such a good reputation for these already. That, that's come from all the 20 years of modeling in the Apollo. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? And that one on the end of your pedal board, just you have it so in case that your amp goes down on a gig, just give it to the sound front of the half guard, boom, that sounds amazing. And check out the Dane's Peak presets. <laughs> anyway, so we go totally, ahead, so yeah. we record some stuff. Oh, we do one, two, three, click. Yeah. One, one, two, two three. Play! And we're back right, in the room. Go. Back in the room. I've just put these down here because we're not going to use them now. Um, and we're going straight in here, right? Yeah, electric guitars. Well, Pete, tell so. us, we want to know what... Again, on that, your recording, what yeah. are you thinking now? What sound do you want to get? So a lot of these things, is there's always like a, I think this is, it lends itself to a little bit more clean sort of stuff, but I would use um, a BU100 for, for like for power chords, you know, um, or I would use um, the uh, Box and Betty actually for a lot of cleans, and then I would have mm -hmm. the spring uh, plug-in that would just add into it so you get that kind of clean, well, let's clean, do that, nice, shall clean, we? shiny sure, kind of thing. So we just um, search for Bucks and Betty, which yeah. is one of the guitar amps you can add on the platform. Yeah. Do you have any particular preset you like? We have stacks of presets in here. Do you use No, I just do like, I just do it as it is and I'll go on the bright setting. And I'll maybe take a little bottom end off and so, so it's kind of. Um, Sounds super nice playing a super affordable Bacchus guitar here, which you can buy from Anderton nice. as well. <laughs> and then we commit to the sound and put some reverb yeah, so straight on it. I would, yeah, but I've monitored with, with the reverb as well, but I, uh, it depends how I'm recording it. I would send it clean to the people and let them- Give them the choice. I, I would give them two choices, one clean and one with reverb because, you know. And then I'll, I'll go off here, so I'll turn yeah, that off. And, and have then, a bit of mix. Yeah, a bit there. of mix. And then maybe make it a bit shorter I'll and a bit brighter. Cut a bit of this, touch, touch, put some treble in there. No pedals, no latency. Yeah.
<laughs> Something like that. <laughs> then, then or maybe you do like a, uh, maybe do like a picking on it, do like it. a little picking thing. I'll dial that down a bit. <laughs> Scooby Doo. You want to do that on top? Mm. Did you hear the little, nice. uh, just play the last little lick on this I just did, and then the bass together, just the last little bit. The view. Dublin ups. Loving it. Who doesn't love the unison vibe? Just a little bit of a, you know, but that, that's, that's because slick, it's me. Though. That's because it's, you. it's because it's me and I know what I would play, so I kind of I I feel it. what I've, you know, but that's, you know, that this is lot, isn't it? This is lot. I mean, we don't it's need all of this kind of wah, but you know, you could put that on. Um, you could do a little bit of I a. I want to. I just want to hear the preset. I mean, even if it's not in the video, I want to. It's so just. You want to hear if, the if you're right, just make to make to hear what that you the said. B, the B one hundred. Yeah. So I'll just put that in. I mean, we can just hear what it sounds like. Yeah, just right, the I'm B, saying mate to mate. Uh, a, remix. a remix. What? I'm there going like mate to mate. <laughs> no, yeah. Of course, we're mates, man. <laughs> yeah. You're more like family. But that, on. Exactly. Exactly. that preset is like. I'm using that. Yeah, but so I, that's you know you know me. I like a really clean tone with a little bit of reverb, but I don't want it super fancy <laughs> or anything, you know. And I'm not everyone out there, I'll know the preset, but it, I doubt it will sound the same. Well, you know, it's uh, it gets it's, you in the ballpark. It gets you in the ballpark, you know. And, and we haven't had to change gear, man. I haven't done anything here. It's not like even we haven't even used the amp yet, which you can do because there's another microphone over here, uh, another U UA microphone, but. We don't even need this setup. I mean, yeah. I've got a here. I've got a Stoltano over here, which the head is like four grand, you know. <laughs> and my pedal board is, I don't know, it's extortionately amount of money. Where you can buy one of these for that and get this sound, or you can buy this and pay for the plugin. It, 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 There's so many ways just to insane like get how much money it is all there, You know, whether it's um, your pedal board. This is just a straight plug, you know. I'll take. I'll probably put a little bit. of... But I will use maybe, hang on, I'll probably use like yes, a less Paul. Yes, we're getting the whole thing. <laughs> I might, might get like a, a really affordable less Paul out. <laughs> you know, there's that sound. I mean, I'll probably tweak it a little bit and take some top end on it. Do it. And take some, yeah, no, what, what do you want? Yeah. There's so much, there's, I've got some presets I've made for myself, but oh, I can't yeah? see anything. They're not, here. they won't be. No, they won't be in here, but you know, it's, it's kind of similar. I don't like too much gain, so. Sort of pull that right way down. Uh, what have we got here? That's all clean stuff for over there. Oh, yeah, so. It's the three son of things of drive, isn't it? So they pen, I've got uh, a preset good, for power chords. And again, I think people over underestimate too much gain or overestimate don't put too much gain on it with guitar amps for sure yeah but guitars, especially preamp gain right you yeah. want to get the power stage humming on a real tube amp and that's what we modeled and all this when stuff, you record so. it as well you don't want too much gain on it because it fizzes out and it doesn't sit well in a mix you know especially if you're doing two like a That's it's quite solid and not too gainy right there. Yeah, yeah. and if you, if you dub that and spread it out like that, you'll get much more gains, the wall of sound on it, you know, and you can add more things on top of that instead of just having one guitar going... 100%, because I mean? the more gain, the more top. distortion, the more noise yeah, it is, yeah, basically. Yeah. It just becomes yeah. a big sausage of yeah, noise. Absolutely. And you just want, like, I don't think necessarily this track will need that, you know, but you can go like... 
you, know, you I reckon can... you can still find the power chord in it there. What do you reckon, Jay? Yeah, yeah. We can do it. We want power chords well, in the tune. After this, <laughs> okay. I'm going to go get Slim Chickens, and then maybe we, Tom can like mix it, and uh, um, and then we'll hear that as well. Cause, we'll do some trucker ballad. Because this like tucked in, I know it's going to be good. Yeah, um, yeah. So, mate, I mean, we'll, 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 I'll just put like... So we, let's let's see what it does. I have no, no idea. I mean, I'm not sure if that if that works in this track, but we'll you know, we'll tuck it down. We'll tuck it yeah, down. I mean, yeah, because yeah. when you do the loop stuff, I mean, this is what you do on a. He does it for on you every looper. week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and one of the fun bits is that doing it like this way, we can tuck that back and do the level stuff that you never yeah. get to do with the loop. No, I mean the only the new looper from uh, from Busty RC six hundred has got you know, six six different loops, and you can turn it down each loop, which is cl mm. like the head rush. So you do loop on each. So you got instead of having the same loop on the same channel, you've got four different loops, and you can then turn them down and up, which is which makes good sense if you want to do something like that, you know. Yeah. Um, but you know, the think right, of well, the well, think well, of well, the well, workstation well. as a looper, though, right? If you're recording guitar for the first time, I remember that, like for me. The only reason I got into recording was so I could do a solo over some chord progressions. Yeah, yeah but that's, you know, that's pretty how much that's the way in, isn't it? Yeah, so that's like, the backing that's tracks. You know, you, that's how yeah. I, this, this is how I make my backing tracks as well. You know, I'll just grab some drums in from Superior Drummer, boom, and I'll find one I really like, and grab that in that inspires me, and then I'll come up with one thing, and then you'll do a, a you know a chorus. This could be the chorus, but it could also be the verse. So all you need here is basically just like a, a middle eight or a bridge or something that takes it to something else. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's all you need. Just chop and change the, the layers to make like the sections of the song, yeah, and, right? Yeah, and for for a song jam track, you you know you can have you can have it for you know it needs to be three and a half minutes, maybe five minutes long. You know, the, the America's Got Talent, all this uh, Prince Got Talent, X Factor. It's normally like two minutes maximum, uh, two and a half minutes because isn't they have you know that, you need short. you need a, you need like a you know. A, a bit down here where they're singing and then you know some guitars comes in and then a chorus and then maybe a down and then an extra chorus at the end you know and that's it really right can um, i get one more from you pete yeah double it up come on here we go three four producer jack you want to double it up <laughs> yeah i'm okay. just getting excited <laughs> yes <laughs> and then we'll shred at the end Could add as well as like some. Oh, a little bit of like extra pulse yes! for some energy. You could do that, you know. Well, let's do that as well. I mean, this is you know, this video is <laughs> going to be eight, eight years long. But, but... Move on to the next, get that or dub up. Doubling up again. Doubling up, yeah.
Yes, mate. Yeah. Sounding legit. Pete would Mac. <laughs> Pete would slack. Pete no, would I mean. slack. Pete would crack. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, so so there we are. I mean, there's, uh, you know, you can keep going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Do you want to get some din- uh, uh, leave, uh, have to- Tommy do a bit of um, but balancing what, but and then we'll cut to that? I think, I think so was, you know, I think I, if this takes two seconds to balance it. And what we've got is that you, uh, it sounds best when you just don't use keyboards. <laughs> well, no, well, I, mean, I was going to say, mean, this if, is we a guitar do a, if we do a solo, yeah, yeah. And a, you do whirly and a why, solo. Why don't you do a solo on it with, your, with the verli? No, verli. Well, we'll do both. You play solo, you play. No, uh, it, that's what's amazing. Um, Trade lips. That, that was stupid of me to say. It's amazing how you can hear it build up, right? I mean, and that's, the, that's the point and, of it, isn't oh. it? And we, oh, you don't have drums now, you know, you don't have keys now, you don't you have a vocal now. realise how freaking lucky you guys are having him here every week. <laughs> Just playing <laughs> shit he doesn't know with equipment he doesn't know. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I stop it, man. Yeah. Well, there we go then. So, um, you know, Tom did a little fiddle magic and, um, you know, this was fun, wasn't it? Thanks for coming up, everybody. Thanks for having us. Everyone. Thanks uh, for all the tech setup, <laughs> the crazy levels of tech. A treat. Yeah, hopefully... We peek behind the curtain as to what uh, Pete does in his downtime, which is always scary. In his guitar playing, it turned playing, out all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what did, what did we film here after six o'clock in the evening? You How know, can they learn people... about? They got links and things like that. Yeah, there'll always be links below uh, to all the Apollo. There's always good uh, promo stuff going on as well, isn't there? And I, you know, so you always check uh, check Anderton's, Anderton's and UA, UA, UA website, com. all the social media. You know, for all of these yeah, guys. Yeah, you're a singer, guitar player. You do different bundles. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got the SP1 and... mics for recording acoustic guitar, or piano. The SD1 we've got on your. Saldano back there. We've yeah. now got Townsend if you Sphere want to know modeling about, mics. Come over to the Dweeb channel with me. I think you've done a video on the Sphere on yeah. the, with uh, Jack there, so go check that out about the modeling absolutely. mics, the Apollo interfaces, the Vault, the pedals, Danish Pete's presets. I'm yeah. giving you some big yeah, ups yeah, on yeah. that big because enough, you were quite humble about the presets. But yeah, but you know, it's, man's it's, got a purple it's, telly I presets. I'm just happy to be involved with with all of this stuff because I think you, the, the 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 community is so great, and if there's good people, if, as we write up here, just be nice. I mean, that's all you need to do. If everybody's nice to each other, we can work together and we can make some great music and have some good times. You know, it's really, it doesn't really take anything else. We're having a good time doing this for you guys. So come in something nice or don't comment at all. I don't know. Yeah, let us know if you want to see Anderton's band back in the house <laughs> no, as well. We, 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 I would love to get you lot back into yeah, that. We don't even need to session. ask them. We're going to do it. But well, we're going to have a jam in yeah. the key of A. We're having a jam over this stuff that we recorded earlier, me and Jack. And that's um, the other cool thing. I can monitor my old Wurlitzer through here. Oh, always yeah. back to the gear. But, uh, and we got two different, uh, you know, two headphone mixes. Two headphone mixes. Pete's oh, now mic'd up a real amp, so we're just recording that flat. Yeah. Jack's got a whirl. It's a di in here with a virtual Fender Tweed amp on it, like yeah. the Woodrow pedal, but now running in the Apollo, same yeah. tech. And then we've got a little uh, tape echo sort very of spring on it. It's wonderful. I've got my pedal board. I've got a guitar, and that's Do it. Do you want to start off with a slow jam and then? Uh, 